Hello and welcome back to Hannah's House and Home. It's tea time. Now, I actually did a poll on my Instagram today so that you could all choose what I was gonna cook for this video. Uh, the choices were sweet and sour or like a really, really quick, easy Chinese chicken curry. So the Chinese chicken curry has won. Here we go. This is so simple and so quick with those nights where you're just not sure what to make. <clears throat> can't really be bothered to make anything this is perfect and it's so delicious like the whole family love it so down here we have got let me show you some is my phone gonna stay up is it there we go so we have some diced chicken breast trusty packets of rice now I'm going to use the whole egg rice and probably just half of the long grain one just to bulk it out a little bit. Chopped onion and then a bag of my steam fresh stir fry veg. This is frozen, you'd normally microwave it but it's fine done in the wok as well. And then to make the Chinese curry sauce, this. It's like this solid stuff that you mix with water. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. It just it just tastes exactly like either chip shop curry, if you live in the UK, you know what I mean. Um, or yeah, the Chinese sauce that you get. It's so, so yum. So let's get it made. It's so cold here in the UK today. We've had like a real tiny flurry of snow in Cornwall when everyone's like going into hibernation. We don't fare well in the cold in Cornwall. Um, so I'm just heating up a tablespoon of oil in my wok. I'm just going to add in some onion. My trusty pre-chopped frozen onion. Let's just use it all. I just had some more fresh onions delivered, so I'm going to do a little video to show you like how I chop them down and freeze them down so they're just ready to go. So, adding in, I'm going to add in the chicken. Get that straight in the dishwasher. My hands are washed. So this is a really good, like, bake-away dish. We haven't ordered a takeaway for ages. But Chinese is definitely one of my favourites, but I am one of those really boring people that always orders the same thing. I don't know, is everyone else like that? Do you always stick to like your favourite, your favourite dish? You get like the fear of trying something new in case you don't like it, because it's just a massive disappointment, isn't it, when you get a takeaway that you don't like. What's your favourite takeaway out of Chinese, Indian, chip shop if you're in the UK? um kfc or a burger of some description we had some of the best burgers of our life when we were out in texas they have some incredible burger joints <gasps> so good definitely worth going back for so we'll just let the chicken cook through and then we'll add the next stuff so the chicken's cooked through lovely, well, cooking through lovely, so I'm going to add in the bag of veg. Don't touch on that. Um, so to make this up, we literally just pop some of the paste stuff into a pan and add in some boiling water. Could it be simpler? So I'm going to get the kettle boiled while the veg cooks through. And that will so I've just added in like a spoon of the, this size spoon and a bit of the curry paste going to add in some boiling water you just kind of make it to the consistency that you want so turn the gas on so if you want it thicker you can add less water more paste and obviously vice versa so we'll just let that melt in so the beauty of it with these packets of rice you can either microwave them and then dish the rice up serve the sauce and stuff on top or you don't have to microwave them you can just add them like to whatever you're cooking so I'm actually going to add the rice in with the chicken and veg and I'm going to do it like John likes it so he likes the rice and the meat and the veg together 
and then you pour the sauce on top so you can kind of mix it all in. I don't know why we don't just put the sauce in a little, but we do it how he likes it. Let's turn the sauce down a bit. So I'm going to add in a whole one of egg fried rice and then I think probably just half the long grain just to bulk it out. Again, this is a great one that you can batch cook and have like the next day for lunch and stuff because it is honestly so, so delicious. Just try it and you'll see what I mean. This curry sauce, I just got in Tesco's, you can get it in any supermarket or, you know, if where you live does have like a, a Chinese shop or a Chinese supermarket, definitely get it in there. So the rice and the veg and the chickens all cooking in nicely together, just throwing it on the cooker. This is the sauce coming together. I did add a little bit more water in just to make sure it breaks down properly. But this will melt away completely. Just put in a few dashes of soy sauce for good luck. sauces all cooked through all melted in smells amazing rice and meat is done so let's get it dished up here we go difficulty level one taste level 10 <laughs> um if you like this give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends please please make sure you're subscribed and turn on all notifications and let me know if there's anything you want me to cook. Keep an eye out on my Instagram for more polls so you can get to choose what you see on the channel. See you again.